Dakota Davicha back here on the program. Dakota, how's it going? Hi, uh, I'm good, thank you. I'm really well. That's good. Uh, how happy are you to get a fight? I know it's been a couple months. Uh, just when, when did you find out about this matchup? Yeah, I've known a few weeks now. The date keeps changing, actually. So it's um, it's changed to early September now. So it's 12th, I think, I'm fighting. So, um, but yeah, I'm just excited. I've been waiting a few weeks now for this fight because I've known about it for a while. So um, I'm excited to get back in again. How frustrating is it that the date keeps changing? When did you find out about the, the date switch up? Um, it was a few weeks ago now. It was meant to be the end of August. It was meant to be this weekend. Um, and then there was a few problems on her part. I think a bit of miscommunication and things like that. So luckily we got it rescheduled for two weeks later, which isn't too bad. Um, so yeah, it's just, it is what it is, isn't it? I'm just lucky to have a fight. So yeah, that's, how, that's basically how you can look at it. And just, you know, again, at least the fight's still happening. It's not, uh, you know, off or anything like that, finding a new opponent. Um, before we get into training camp and all that, uh, you've been working with Molly McCann. I thought that's been pretty cool. I actually spoke to Molly uh, leading into her fight. How valuable has that experience been getting to work with her? I mean, I was very lucky to be honest. Yeah. And I'm lucky to be so close as well. Cause it, you know, I used to, I used to train in Liverpool as well. So, um, it's good that we finally met up and, and done some rounds. It was it was really good. She's top level. She's ready to go. She's on before me. So yeah, no, it's gonna it's gonna be great. Um, how how long did you spend down there? Like in terms of getting to work with her? Um, I just kind of go up there as and when I can. Um, obviously she's got a busy timetable with her training already. Um, I've got mine down here as well in Manchester. So we just communicate. We just text each other. Just you know, see when we can fit some rounds in and things like that. Um. And it was really good. I've been down a few times now. So um, it's, re- it's obviously perfect for me because I'm getting to, to train with a top top level athlete like that. And, you know, she, I, I'm aspiring to be in her position and, and, and be, you know, everything that she's doing at the moment. So um, I'm really lucky to, to get that experience. Yeah. Had you not had this fight come up, do you think you might have made the trip to Vegas just to experience all that and, you know, be part of, you know, sort of fight week for the UFC? Um. I mean, it would have been amazing. Yeah, it would have been a, a really good experience. But um, yeah, God, that would have been a good experience. I didn't even think of that. Maybe yeah. next time, right? You know, it's just something something to consider as well. And, and Patty's on the card as well, right? So there's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of uh, UK fighters there. I'm sure it would, be, it would have been just because it really, the card was supposed to be in London, right? So a lot of the UK fighters are on there. Yeah, yeah, it was meant to be in London. So there's um, there's quite a lot of them going over. To be honest, we had Larone from our gym as well. That visa issues. I saw you know I interviewed Larone right before that, and he was all excited. And then I saw that he was out. It's just so unfortunate uh, with all that stuff, right? So shame. Yeah, it's such a shame with everything that's going on. But um, he's doing well anyway. He was in he was in top shape. But it's just it is what it is, isn't it? Exactly. Nothing you can do. Uh, Let's talk about your opponent here, D Begley. I believe that's how you say it. What do you know about her? How do you feel like your matchup against her here? Um, I don't, well, my coaches have told me, you know, she's a forward pressure fighter. She's going to come to fight. Um, so that's kind of what I need. I need someone that's going to give me a tough fight. I need the cage rounds is what, what I always say. You know, I need that experience in the cage fighting, fighting these girls. So um, hopefully we're going to have a good, a good match here. Yeah. Has it been difficult getting an opponent? Uh, it has been really difficult. Yeah. I mean, I think D might have even asked for me this time. I think I heard. Nice. Don't know whether that's right. You know, that's what I want, the girls to come forward because I am really struggling. Like, I mean, I was calling a few girls out on Instagram and they were saying like, um, you know, yeah, I, I, I called a few girls out basically saying I'll take the winner. And they were like, yeah, 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 that, that's fine. And then when it actually come to one of them pulling out and me saying I'll step in on two weeks notice, they were like, no, it's all right, thanks. So it's like things like that, you know, I'm, I'm trying my hardest to get these matches and get matched with these girls, but they're just not having it. So especially with the internationals not being able to come over and me not being able to go over there, it's, it's proving really, really hard. Did you think it would be easier when you went pro? Because I know with amateur, it's very difficult, even though they don't count in your record. They are very, like, I noticed a lot of fighters are very picky about that for whatever reason. Um, did, did that surprise you just because, you know, it's pro now, you'd figure there'd be more opportunities to, you know, for, for fighters to take fights. Definitely, hundred percent. That was one of the one of the reasons why we turned so quickly, really, to pro. I still had a few, you know, amateur fights left in me, but it kind of that pushed us forward a little bit more because we thought we'd get the opponents, and then, you know, the internationals not being able to come over and things like that, and then the UK girls just having just being a no show. It's so hard now, but um, we're still in the gym training, you know, and I've just got to stay ready for anything, like just jumping in with whatever I can, really. We talked about training with Molly McCann. What about, uh, you know, other training partners? Who have you mainly been working with leading into this fight? 
Yeah, so I've been with there's loads at, at my gym to be honest. I mainly train with boys. There's only me and Izzy, the only female fighters we've got at the gym. So um we're kind of just mixing with a lot of the lads. They're all we're all fighting on the same show, we're all in camp together. So it's like there's loads of us kind of just working at the same goal. So um yeah, there's no one really specific. We're just all one one big team on the map. And, and that makes it so much easier, right? Because if a fighter has a fight, you know, maybe they want to take some time off. At least everyone's in there working together towards the same goal if they're fighting on the same card, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's like, to be honest, a lot, of the, a lot of the lads have been active. So they've been like, some of them were fighting like two weeks ago, they're fighting again. We're just trying to get as much experience in as we can because we just never know what's going to happen these days. Yeah, no, for sure. And, and how's the weight cut going? Obviously, the date being pushed, I'm sure they had to alter things a little bit, but how, how's everything going? Yeah, that worked out a little bit better with weight cutting and things like that because it gives you an extra two weeks. But um, yeah, I have a, a nutrition list that works with me and and everything's everything's on on form. So I'm looking forward to go to go in. What do you miss during camp that you can eat? Oh, everything. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be here all day. We'd be this would be the whole interview if we talked about everything you want to eat, right? I, I do always say though, like um just my dad's cooking like obviously I'm cooking my own food and I'm on I'm on like plan whereas like just the homemade food that 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 everyone's eating in the house that I can't have is what I miss the most there you go uh who's gonna be in your corner for this fight um I haven't actually um I haven't actually <laughs> to be them, determined be, yeah it'll be my uh my head coach Carl Prince and um I'll have even my mum or my brother as well in there and um probably one of the other lads from uh, Manchester top team as well How's the fight uh, playing out on September 12th? How do you see it unfolding? Um, I mean, I'm looking for a three-round fight, but um, I mean, I'm always going in for the stoppage. So that if that comes, then I'll, I'll take it. Excellent. Um, you want to get one more in this year, I imagine? Or I, I guess like we were talking about, I know it's been difficult to get a fight, but I'm sure in an ideal world, you would get one more fight in. Yeah, I could, I could hopefully get two in. If it, you think fast, no injuries and things like that, and I can get the opponents, then I'll be, um, I'll be getting as many as I can in. But hopefully, one more before the before the year plans out. Yeah. And what about downtime? What are you doing outside of camp? Uh, I imagine the weather's pretty good. Or how, how are things, uh, you know, outside of the cage for you uh, leading into this fight? Yeah, I always struggle to find a balance, really. I try and, like, you know, do other things outside of the gym and, and stuff. But when I'm, like, um, training, obviously, I'm still teaching, teaching lessons and things like that, making money that way. So um, it's kind of like everything at the moment is just all about training and fighting. And I'm I'm OK with that. So when, the camp, when my camp's done, I'll take a week out and then I'll go back at it again. That's just the life I've chosen, I think. And that's just what I've accepted now that that's just how it's going to be. No Netflix, no uh, no TV shows you're getting into, nothing like that, or probably just watching fights. I would assume. I watch five minutes and then I'm fast asleep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because you're so tired from the end of the day. Yeah, no, I get it. That, that makes yeah. sense. That's <laughs> well. Well, we're looking forward to this uh, card. It is full contact contender twenty six. Uh, Dakota, thanks so much for the time. Uh, anyone you want to thank? Any sponsors? Any social media you want to plug? I'll give you the last word. Um, yeah, I'd like to thank um, all my sponsors, my management HD, um, all my sponsors no optimax my, my all my training my people my coaches you know so my fitness manchester top team northern spirit just everyone involved my training partners without them there's there's no fighters there because that they're, they're the people that help me prep for it so just want to say thanks to them